everyone, welcome to the Wood Kitchen. And this is Caleb Wood, and this is my mom. Yes, I am Lulu. Welcome to the Wood Kitchen once again. Today it's Caleb's show. He's making breakfast because an uncle Dali, so from where? Syngenta. He's coming today. So, what are you making for him? We're making scrambled eggs. How are you making them? What are your ingredients? So, mm -hmm. you put. Okay, you can just ho do it once at one at a time. You put. You actually can put one at a time, or you can just put them on a plate or crack them. Okay. So, while cracking. You're so good at cracking okay. the eggs. Wow, not even one shell is in there. Okay, this I could not do this at seven. You're really good at this now. And by the way, Caleb has been making us scrambled eggs like almost every weekend. He's doing such an amazing job. He's learned so well. He loves the kitchen. And I just love this, guys. Check this out. Wow. Wow. Can you guys see that? Not even one shell in there. Caleb, you've done really, really well. Oh, so you're doing six eggs, so it would be two eggs per person? Mm -hmm. Oops, that's incredible, baby. Wow. Let me get something to be wiping as you're doing that. For a seven-year-old, not even one shell in there. Look at you, baby. Incredible. Now let me wipe your hands. Mommy's being helpful yeah. today. All right, so what do you do? So we just have one little... We only have one little shell in there. So mommy can help you take it out. Oh, I know how to take it out. Oh, really? With a spoon. With a spoon. Good boy. Okay, carefully. Carefully. Ah. <laughs> Did you guys see my seven-year-old? He's a G. Here you go. Okay, so you just need to sprinkle a bit. What is this? Heinz spice. Heinz shocker spice. Heinz spice. No, not so high because there's so much wind. Hey, he's being Mr. Salt Bay, Mr. Shocker's Bay. A bit more, because this is like your salt. So more, 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 because there's so many eggs. Some more. Perfect, Caleb. So other times when you don't have shocker spice, what do you use? Um, Oh, wow. Okay. That's really cool. You've become a pro even at the mixing. Yeah. Now tell me, what are the rules of cooking for kids? So, number one, don't cheat on the stove yourself. Number two, when the stove is on and you put the pan on, don't ever touch the pan when the stove is on, mm -hmm. or she'll get burned. Oh, that's so good, baby. Also, as a child, should you just cook alone? No, you have to have your adult girl, or your big brother, or your mom, or your dad. That's number three, great. I'm gonna get you a hot pan now. So I put the hot pan here, Caleb, and now I'm going to put some butter. Mm -hmm. When you don't have butter, what do you use to cook the eggs? It's right there. Oil. Good boy. Now butter makes it yummy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you don't need even too much butter, so that works. But if you want, well, just a bit more. <laughs> All right, are you ready? You can come this side. I'll help you with that. I'll bring it to you. Step up to your plate, sir. Melt your butter. You can't cook with butter. You can't cook with butter just whole like that, right? Yeah. That's perfect. Because you just can't eat butter. Yeah. But butter is delicious, right? Yeah. What do you remember about butter recently? In the aeroplane. In the aeroplane. You and mommy ate so much of the buns with the butter. Yeah. <laughs> we were lathering the butter on. Okay, I think you're ready to go, sir. Awesome. Always glad to help you, my baby. Nice. Nice, good boy. There you go. Oh, look at that. You're so smooth. What do you enjoy cooking? I enjoy cooking corn Mm-hmm. And I enjoy cooking scrambled eggs the most. Oh, nice. 
Mommy is going to teach you how to cook something else too, okay? Yeah. I want to teach you how to cook mushrooms because I think they go perfectly and you love mushrooms so much. So while you're doing that, I'm going to go away and make the mushrooms and I'm just going to take this leftover butter and I'm going to fry the onions with the um, garlic. I'm going to put a bit of shocker spice and what is this? What herb is this? Caleb has been learning about herbs. Is it mint? Caleb, is this mint? No. Basil? Yeah. No, no. What is it? Okay, so is it mint, basil, thyme, oregano? Oregano. Nope. Thyme. <laughs> so this is thyme. So mommy's gonna go and start prepping while you finish. What do you want to use? Oh, a bit of the garlic. Okay, okay, okay. Just some flavor. That's okay. Now that is new in your scrambled eggs. That will be a surprise element. I don't think Daddy is even going. He's going to be so surprised with that flavor in there. But I don't. I don't want to use his recipe always. Oh, you don't want to use his recipe. So you, okay, okay, okay. Can I now keep some of the garlic for me? Let me not fight. Hey, careful when you're around the fire. That's another rule. Yeah. Mommy is going to quickly start whipping up some sausages and I'm going to slice up some tomatoes so that we can quickly get this breakfast ready for our visitor. Oh, wow, this looks so good. Did you just taste it off the, <laughs> the thingy? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's so salty and nice. It's so salty and nice. Okay, I can't wait to taste it now. This looks so good, my baby boy. Mm -hmm. And you know what mommy's going to garnish it with? I'm going to add some parsley on top and it's just going to add so much flavor. Let me taste a bit. Mmm. 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 It's delicious. You're so right. That's now I'm why going to get some sometimes parsley. I put parsley mm -hmm. inside and it tastes nice. Yes, yes, that's good, that's good. And when you don't have fresh parsley, we also have the Heinz dried parsley and it works perfectly. Mm -hmm. Hey Caleb, I love the way you understand flavors. Mm -hmm. ha, today mommy is cutting like daddy. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna be like <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, that looks so nice. It's gonna be so yummy. Uncle Deliso is going to be so shocked that a little boy cooked this. All right. Hi, everyone. We're here again. And. Mommy's plated? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it done now? Not yet. Oh, really? Last touch. Mm -hmm. And we're garnishing the sausages with thyme. Oh, look at you. Look at you. Uncle Dalisa and Daddy are going to be so <laughs> proud. So you can see I added the mushrooms. Oh, and they're oh, here. Wow. That looks amazing. <laughs> wow. Hi, Uncle Daliso. This Are was these? done by Caleb. Yes. Caleb's Say world famous egg is. Uncle Daliso. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's a better cook than I am. Oh, really? <laughs> Tell him he can come for lessons. Yeah. Well, <laughs> He's that looks very so nice. shy. All right, Uncle Daliso, do you want to eat now or later? Later. After planting? Later, after planting. Okay. So let's go and oh, wake up wow. on appetite. Oh, <laughs> wow. You don't take from the main plate. Let's go to the garden. I'm All going right, to cover going. this. And then I'll join you guys. All no right. problem. Thank you. Oh, wow. Here we go. So you picked some strawberries? Yeah. Are you going to share it, Uncle Daliso? Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow, the land prep looks good here. Yeah? Oh, that's it is, eh? Wow, you just picked this just now. Mm -hmm. Give him some. Let him taste. Wow. The big are nice, huh? They are nice, huh? Eh? They've grown. You guys Straight are literally... From the farm. Yeah, you're surviving off your backyard garden, huh? Mm. Mm. We're spoiled. <laughs> nice. So at least we've done a bit of land prep. It's good. We are ready now for you. Also. Mm. So from last time we were here, basically we talked about what we we're going to be doing here. Yeah. And I'm really glad today we're literally in the field. I tell you. It's a milestone, eh? When Too much. Right. Exactly. This is good. <laughs> because progression is always good. Mm -hmm. So I know in the past few weeks you've been with uh, Andrew. Yes. Our, our technical support uh, mm -hmm. in Lusaka. Mm -hmm. And what has been done so far, just for our viewers, is mm -hmm. basically improving the soil texture. Right. So we do this because at the end of the day, we want our fruits 
that will come out to be good quality. Mm -hmm. So we've limed the soil. Yes. We've applied some manure. We've also set up the drip irrigation. Mm -hmm. So why we did the drip irrigation? Because you know, for tomatoes, we can't do the overhead. Okay. You know, because that will, we have a lot of diseases, you know, oh, a lot of fungus. Right. Okay. okay. So that's why we did the drip system, mm -hmm. which was, I should say you guys did a good job. <laughs> Looks very good. Thank you. It's neat enough, I hope. Boss. Yeah, very, very neat. Very good, <laughs> proper. Alec and, and um, Mabucha are very good. Yeah. No, they did a good job. With the tech support, yeah. it was amazing. Awesome. Good. Should give them a raise. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a few seedlings here. Okay. Yeah, so today Caleb gets to plant seedlings. Wow. I, I hope he's done that before. Don't touch your uh, I have done that before. You've done yeah. that before? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So now that we're going to get dirty, we have to fold the tomatoes. Exactly. Uh -huh. But uh, let me just touch a bit on why we encourage seedlings. So we have a few types of uh, seedlings here. Mm -hmm. All these were grown in a greenhouse. Okay. Simply because we know we encourage our farmers to grow seedlings on what we call a tray. Oh, right. Something like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they come in different forms and shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what we're trying to do here, William, when we encourage our farmers to grow them in the greenhouse, is basically to protect them right. and allow them to have the best quality of seedlings. Because, mm -hmm. you know, this is the starting point of the farming journey. Exactly. So you miss it here, mm -hmm. meaning even as you go ahead, mm -hmm, you have mm -hmm. challenges. Mm -hmm. So we have farmers sometimes who say, no, I planted directly in the soil, the seed didn't come out. Right. And we strongly discourage farmers doing that. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you'd find sometimes the soil will form a hard pan, whereas the seedling is very small, exactly. and the seedling won't sprout. Ah, so you know? it's got no chance. Of exactly. Yeah. So that's why you want a proper uh, me media that is uh, properly designed, has a proper texture mm -hmm. to allow the seedling to properly come out. Right, right. But right. then, interestingly, you see as we go on that mm -hmm. we have different varieties of products that mm -hmm. we do direct planting. Okay. So products like okra, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. farmers will directly plant the seeds, okay. and it will probably do much much better than tomato would probably do mm -hmm. but for products like tomato peppers cabbages mm -hmm. we strongly encourage our farmers to Seedling. do seedlings yes okay. watermelon is also one of those that you can do seedlings or direct planting mm -hmm. but you know if you're going to have that advantage of going to the market early we always encourage you to do seedlings, seedlings okay. in the greenhouse and then mm -hmm. we move on mm -hmm. so a key thing uh caleb today you get your first lesson in masters in agriculture. We are getting dirty. <laughs> also, While you do that, Caleb, I'm going to pick a bit more strawberries, but keep on planting. Okay, mommy is going to join you. I'm proud of you. High five. Good boy. <laughs> awesome. You will all each get a seedling. Perfect. So this is a properly grown and hardened seedling okay. of Tovista. Mm -hmm. So Tovista is one of the varieties we have at Syngenta. Okay. A perfect tomato for this time of the year. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know the tomatoes you're planting now right. are going to go into the rain season. Ah, okay, okay. So the rain season needs a particular type of variety. Remember the question Lulu asked, mm -hmm. when you plant what and how and whatnot. So exactly. that's very important. Even mm -hmm. for a variety portfolio, okay. we have products will tell you, okay, plant it at this time, mm -hmm. plant it at this time of the year, mm -hmm. because simply we know when it will do best. Okay, and perfect. also allow the farmer to be very profitable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now we're about to plant, William. Mm -hmm. So at this point, the soil has been done. Perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. The only thing now you need to watch out as you plant, Caleb, this mm -hmm. seedling, is what we call jay planting. So where you make a jay with a plant. That's oh. not encouraged. Oh, okay. Okay. Because now you basically be mm -hmm. choking the seed even before it starts, seedling, sorry, at this point, before it comes out. Okay, perfect. The second thing you watch out is how you plant the seed. You don't compress it too much. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. again, you will choke it. Because okay. you want your nutrients to be able to go down and everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. basically, the hole has been made. Okay. Like with, wow, the soil is good, huh? Oh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. so you basically get it like that. Mm -hmm. Make sure it goes all the way in. Dig, dig, Caleb. Dig. Again. Can I help you to dig? Let me help you. Uncle Daddy, so Let me you. help you. Uh -huh. Just get a big scoop out. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Now push in your seedlings. Okay. You see? Nice. Good. Done. So once that is done, mm -hmm. you just drop your soil okay. gently, just around it. Don't compress it. Just leave it like that. Oh, okay. And done. So I didn't know it's that, you know, it's that easy, basically. Mm. As you said, you know, if it's so you know that you compact it down, you, compact, no, no. you shouldn't do any of it. So the other thing, William, uh -huh. why we are encouraging you to put it all the way in and just uh -huh. leave this part, right. is at the end of the day, this whole part will mm -hmm. have roots. Ah, right. Increasing. I see. I see the area that this plant will get its nutrients from. Uh -huh. okay. So all these parts, if that's going to go in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. eventually it will be like this guy down. Because yeah. I think the misconception is that you see where the sand exactly. is, you just put it like that. Okay, key. Okay. Caleb, come, help me out. Come plant this one, come around me. Mm -hmm. Come in front, grab it. So remember what Uncle Daddy has said, all the way down, we've already made the hole, it's okay. Yeah. It. Uh -huh. And then we cover. And help me cover. Awesome. Me. Uh -huh. Cover, cover. Perfect, well done. And remember it says that we don't press the soil. No, 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 okay. we don't. Over okay. time it will be compacted as the water is going down, as we do other practices. Mm -hmm. 
it will eventually be compacted on its own. On its own, okay. Yeah. yeah. Naturally. So this that we've put down in, in the next few days, mm -hmm. we'll come in with our first treatment okay. uh, to protect the seedling mm -hmm. at this point okay. against things like cutworms, you uh -huh. know, those little guys that will come and cut the seedling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a few other uh, uh, pesticides that we'll put okay. that we'll cover in our next episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the key thing now for us is to finish our planting. Yeah. We get to run our drip. Okay. So what will happen is at this point where we've planted, mm -hmm. water will be emitted right. and our seedling will be properly Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. sorted out in terms of water. Oh, perfect. So it's so, all very individual. Drip irrigation makes sense. Each plant with its own allocation of water. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. That's why I said the land prep and the drip uh, lane was really good. Yeah. And that's very important as well, isn't very it? Very key. You have to get it right. Because you don't want the, the seedling to basically compete for anything, whether okay. be it nutrients mm -hmm, or water. Because mm -hmm. the moment it starts competing, that affects your yields. Perfect. And that's why every time we talk to our farmers, we always say, mm -hmm. this crop will give you so much yield mm -hmm. under good management. Ah, so okay. what you guys have done is already 20% of good management. Mm -hmm. The soil has been done well, the, the texture has been improved, right. the drip has been laid. Mm -hmm. From what I gather, even fertilizer is already on its way. Yes, so yes, yes. Yeah. we're right. good. Yeah, okay, perfect. Awesome. But as you said, I think the technical support from uh, Andrew, your colleague, was amazing. And yeah. you guys are just really... Yeah, spot on. So at least now we can even chunga ourselves and we know what we're doing. <laughs> and that's one thing about us as Sinjenta William is mm. we never allow our farmers to walk alone. Mm. Not to borrow from Liverpool, but we constantly <laughs> try and make sure that our farmers have I hope they're not a Liverpool support. No, no, no. I actually don't watch football. <laughs> okay, so, so, <laughs> so we make sure that our farmers have the technical support. Uh -huh. Be it through a phone call, our social media pages, true, true. be it actual physical visits like what Andrew is doing. Mm -hmm. We actually have a team on the Copper Belt, a right. team in Southern Province, a mm -hmm. team in Osaka, mm -hmm. Northwestern, dedicated to basically support our farmers. Perfect, perfect. So awesome. we can guarantee that crop is 100%. Exactly. Oh, nice. So that's nice. what we need to do on our Tovista, yeah. so we can continue with that. Okay, so we'll get planting tomato, then we're going to move to something different. Different as awesome. well. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Daddy, so this one I'm excited about uh -huh. because we use these things a hell of a lot in the kitchen. The bell peppers, eh? Exactly. So I'm very excited. So I'm expecting the bell pepper just so. And that's what you'll get. <laughs> perfect, perfect. That's what you'll get. So at Singenta, we have the three types of bell peppers that right. we commonly grow in Zambia. Mm -hmm. Do you know actually we have different types of peppers? Do you know that there's even black pepper? There's black pepper? Like actual black pepper in the I thing. didn't know that. I only no. know the green, the red, and the yellow. Yeah, there's yes. actual black pepper. Did yes, you also yes. know there's yes. orange cauliflower? Orange cauliflower. Like orange cauliflower. Why have we been sleeping <laughs> on these things, you guys, man? <laughs> I say for another day. But interesting, the same practices that we did on the tomato apply on same the, color. Okay. On the on the paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The one thing that we've done different here, mm -hmm. but we, we should have basically most people do papers in an open field. Right. So you know, because you want the quality of paper not to be scorched, you know, mm -hmm. paper for the beauty of a yellow paper to be seen, it doesn't mm -hmm. need to be scorched. Okay. So if for a farmer who doesn't have the technical know-how of maybe putting a shed net or mm -hmm. being able to grow it in a greenhouse, because right. our varieties can be grown open field, like what we're doing here. Okay, okay. Usually what we do is what we call double planting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So double planting is where you have one paper on this side okay. and the other paper on this side. Right. But because this is basically a demo, we mm -hmm. just done the single side, okay. but definitely we try to reduce the spacing mm -hmm. to allow each uh, paper to offer more or less a canopy to the oh, other. to the other one, okay. Exactly. Okay. okay. And see. then the beauty about our papers, William, is mm -hmm. also the quickness of maturity. Okay. So what, what kind of time frame are you So you here? see from mm -hmm. there, we see oh, basically 90, 90 days 90 after transplanting. Wow. Yeah. So this will be your guide. Mm -hmm. We'll leave this here for you and your team to basically come back and say, okay, why isn't our papers changed color? Mm -hmm. What stage are we supposed to do? Okay. And also the technical manual. Okay. So Caleb, remind okay. us, how do we plant? Show us. Remember? Show us. What do we do first? Ah, well done. Well done. The student has become the teacher. I tell you. Awesome. Before you know it. He will be correcting us at Syngenta. Oh, huh. <laughs> Maybe he's been taking all of our jobs. You know this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Should I help you make the hole? Yes. There you go. Awesome. Nice. So remember, you're trying to prevent the seed to be J-planted. Good. Well done. Good nice. Job. High five. Today we're getting your hands dirty. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And so, Lola is just sitting there. She's, yeah. to... She's enjoying herself. Uh -huh. So in a few days, we'll mm -hmm. come in with our first treatments. Okay. 
to prevent any form of damage that can happen to our plant. Perfect. A Perfect. few days later, we'll come in with our first uh, regime of fertilizer. Mm -hmm. You know, because for this paper to fully mature, we need mm -hmm. to protect it. Yeah. Remember when I was talking to Lulu last week, mm -hmm. I even mentioned how we need to have those CPs, the chemical protection, to prevent any damage to our crop. Yeah. So this yeah. is our little baby, and at this stage, the early stages of the plant, you mm -hmm. need to be very keen on making sure you prevent any fungus, uh -huh. any insecticides. Uh, sorry, any insect uh, attacks, because yeah. at the end of the day, whatever mm -hmm. affects the plant now mm -hmm. will come and show in time to harvest. When, when this day exactly. Comes. Okay, perfect. And also, I think this is actually what, what you said about the, the way you grow them outside. It makes sense for the Zambian market as well, because I think initial costs for greenhouses are very expensive. Exactly. So this makes sense. I think a lot of people can actually have access to it. They can buy it and obviously plant Do it in open field. And you've been interested to know that mm -hmm. this time of the year is perfect to plant papers. Okay. Why, Very perfect. Why is it temperature-wise? So, what, what exactly. So uh -huh. temperature-wise and what was also referred to as units of the sun. Uh -huh. So at this point, mm -hmm. when you compare the amount of direct sun that the paper will be hit with, mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. less than at a certain time of the year. Okay, makes sense. So very important to have that in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, let's get planting. Let's... Fruits at Singenta. Come again? Are they different? Are they different fruits at Singenta? <laughs> yes, yes, we do. Actually, it's interesting to know that mm -hmm. we, because, we, okay, this is an argument that we can mm -hmm. leave to our viewers, you know. <laughs> Someone will say paper is not a fruit, the tomato is not a fruit, the other is a vegetable. That's the biggest argument. Exactly. <laughs> so, so KLBS, we do have different types of fruits. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, when I say different types of fruits, I'm basically meaning different types of varieties of tomatoes. Because okay. so that's the closest we have to a fruit. That's exactly. Singenta. So you see, you've learned something. Tomato, is it, it's a fruit also. Mm -hmm. Or is it a vegetable? Oh, it's a vegetable. Yes. It's a fruit. fruit. Awesome. He's caught on quick. Guy. Smart guy. <laughs> All right, we, we move, move to on our to the next one, yeah. And I love the cabbages. Uh -huh. This one has got a very interesting fact. Quick maturity. Mm -hmm. This guy just after transplanting, under 70 days, you wow. have a full matured cabbage. That's amazing. Beautiful texture, mm -hmm. lovely weight. That's Fabiola for you. Very beautiful. Uh -huh. so I'm course, glad we no, planted it. Makos Razapangi. Ah, Muzambera Mushangal. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, we've got you here. Yeah. So I wanted to introduce you to our guys as well. They help us in the garden. So Alec and Abuto, you can come. Ah, awesome. That's uh -huh. good. Yeah. That way, even if you're not around, <laughs> you'll be able then, to help. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. Exactly. Eh, Muribwanji. Anyama, Mwazi, Varaga. My dad is. Mwanza. Mr. Dadis was going to help us. Moshangila cabbage, and then obviously you've gotten some technical support from his colleague, Mr. Andrew. Andrew. But he will explain as well how Moshangila cabbage is going. Okay. okay. So over to you guys. Okay. Chwambila guys, much to abuino maningi land preparation yano. Very good. Abamanje. Secret. Chikuru chay Moshanga cabbage yato. Mugodi mama pangila kudala is. Pongene sambeo yato. Mungani pasi kwa mozi mungu katenga kwa mozi. Okay. Okay. This one is for you. Well, you come here, come here. No, Caleb can be... Caleb can do this yeah. Yeah. So, so we give you two, Caleb? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, Alec na Mavuto, mm -hmm. secret poshanga mbewe. In mbewe, tima kamba tini chintutua mwa. So, stufu no chifia nita maningi kutu chaka ngopema. Then, kunyansu, stufu no kutu chamonga tachola. So, tita avoid kutu chaka jeplati. So, mwasegula buwa ni mwachosa doti. Mwagange ene sacheke ka buino buino, kangala kwa imini. Then, mwaponyira mo doti. You don't have a seedling. Can oh. someone give Caleb a seedling? Here you go, my boy. <coughs> so, I'm going to eat a bono bueno. Kasala. Cake. Uh -huh. uh, Mr. Wood, I think these guys have done this before. I think I'm going to eat a bono bueno. I'm going to eat a bono bueno. Okay, I'm going to eat a bono I think Ali can hang up. I'm going to hang up. Okay. Daddy, so this I one found is for here. something mm -hmm. inside. <coughs> what did you find? That's a root. No, that's, that's fine. You can plant it now. You can place your seed inside. Nice. Just drop your, your soil in. You can drop your soil in. I Good. Get this one. Okay. Should I help you on this side? Okay. I want to get this. No, no, leave it. It will be part of the organic uh, manure. Oh. Yeah. So it will help fertilize the cabbage as it forms. Oh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Perfect. Yeah. Ah, uh, my guys, was it? Okay. So, Mzapiti is a shabby cabbage. Mm -hmm. So, actually, I have two varieties of cabbages here. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the Fabiola and the okay. Procter. So, the major difference between the two is what we call maturity days. Okay. So, the other one is a later maturity variety of 80 days. 80. We have, yeah, we even have other varieties that can go even up to. Uh, sorry, uh, Procter is 80 days. Mm -hmm. We have varieties that can go even up to 90 days. But then, 
one thing you should understand about cabbage is that the, the more days it takes to mature, mm -hmm. the bigger the head size. All oh, right. Yes. I see. I see. So when you look at the average weight for Pabila, for example, it's 3.5 to 5 kgs. Mm -hmm. But then when you look at uh, 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 an average head size of uh, Prukto, which is a later cabbage, mm -hmm. it even go up to six kgs. Oh wow. When you look at a variety like uh, Rihanna, it mm -hmm. even maybe go even up to seven. Okay. We have even at farmers that have recorded eight kgs before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. just to, uh, as we talk about the cabbages, we have a new cabbage called mm -hmm. Intello, a very beautiful big head cabbage. Mm -hmm. it takes about 95 days to mature. Okay. But uh, William, you should see the head of that cabbage. Massive. It's massive. <laughs> it's a massive head. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Now, with those maturity dates for the different cabbages, the longer it stays in, the bigger the head. Now, for us who cook, taste-wise, what does that do to the taste? I, I would be lying to say there's a variation in taste. Okay. That's But that's something with maybe mm -hmm. with us uh, see. You've been exploring. Exactly. Because now, yeah. remember, you have two varieties here. Exactly. So we'd like to see, okay, for example, mm -hmm. how the Coslo cooks that you yeah. do from Fabiola and yes. that you do from Procter. Yes. Yeah. But then for our friends, especially in in the developed countries, they mm -hmm. even have what they call sweet cabbages. Oh, right. Where the cabbage, they know, okay, this one is a sweet cabbage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They also have processing cabbage. Okay. Because they have certain times of the year mm -hmm. when they can't grow cabbages. Oh, so right. So they'll grow them now, uh, uh, have them stored up, mm -hmm. and then have them released at the time when there's no cabbage being grown. Ah, that makes sense. It's almost like the grape kind of thing. The longer you leave it, the sweeter the grape and the like. So it makes yes. sense. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So that's pretty much it when it comes around the planting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we've done our soil, remember our, our soil, beautiful texture. You guys yeah. did a good job in Alik. Well done guys. Yeah, that was that was good. I, I really love the soil, you know, mm -hmm. from the time we stayed there to now, it was good. Yeah. From what I understand, you did your furrows, you mm -hmm. put your organic ma material there, you know, your grass, your manure, mm -hmm. your lime, awesome stuff. Okay. Your drip is laid. This mm -hmm. side, for the cabbage, the difference in terms of uh, drip system is this side we're going to use the overhead. Okay. So the sprinklers and whatnot for the cabbages are okay. Okay. So that's Because these it. guys are a bit more resilient. Exactly, exactly. The the like yeah, exactly. And so it helps there. Okay. So that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm really looking forward to capturing the guys when they will do the direct planting of the okra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also have the kale, remember the vedura. Oh, yes, yes. That yes, one yes. is also going to be done mm -hmm. seedling. Mm -hmm. I would have loved it to also be direct planting because it's able to grow. Okay. You know, Perfect. the crop that I'm looking forward to seeing also you guys plant, mm -hmm. that we already have seedlings for, is watermelon. Because ah. I'm told the young man loves watermelon. Our guy here is going yeah. to enjoy that. But don't eat all the watermelon, we can sell some, eh? No! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. He's going to grow very big and tall, full of in vegetables. Oh, fantastic. So, awesome. Delisa, thanks for joining us. Obviously, we're going to sit and have something to eat later on. But let's get stuck in. We'll start planting with the boys. And then we can have a nice, like, a little break and, you know, sasula something and eat something. Ah, thank so, you. Thank you. Fantastic. So, thank gentlemen, mapunzi so. la manjaga. Uh-huh. Ten nine.